I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today, this Wednesday of the first week of Easter, or rather the second week of Easter, we celebrate this Mass for the eternal rest of Edith Castillo. And my brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and beg God's forgiveness and our brothers and sisters' pardon also. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went into the temple. They went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to jail to, the, to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would, me as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. When the captain and the court officers went and brought them, then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. 
The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have life eternal, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Easter season presents to us the story of the ancient church the very beginnings. In the Acts of the Apostles that we have in our first reading, we have the second arrest of Peter. The Peter, the apostles, and uh, the disciples are gaining ground uh, in Jerusalem. A great number uh, are following them. And uh, the Sanhedrin, the chief priests, uh, look with alarm upon this. They have him and his com companions, some of his companions, thrown in jail. Mysteriously, they are released, it says, by an angel of the Lord. It doesn't give any more description than that, but uh, it is as they are mysteriously released, the Sanhedrin is convened and uh, is in a quandary uh, as to what has happened uh, uh, as they order them to be brought before them. And they're told that no one is there in the jail, even though the guards are there, and everything appears to be normal. And then, rather dramatically, a short time later, they receive word that these uh, men who had been thrown in jail, Peter and his companions, are now preaching in the temple area once more. Things could have gone very badly from here, uh, but yet a little bit later we'll see that it is actually a Jewish companion, and one of the Jewish leaders, Gamaliel, uh, will suggest to him, well, let's let these individuals go. Let's not bother them or molest them. For if, they, if their project that they preach, if it is from the Lord, uh, uh, rather, if their project that they preach is, if it's a human endeavor, then it shall quickly fail. But if it is an endeavor that is from the Lord, then who can resist it? It was a rather uh, 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 telling or prophetic uh, piece of advice that the Jewish person Gamaliel had. And we can take away from this uh, uh, the courage uh, that the apostles uh, had and the conviction. And notably, it was by Peter as their leader. <laughs> Peter, the one who shirked from his uh, put on bravado before the uh, passion of our Lord uh, during that time, yet fell so woefully short, uh, now is a person who has been given great courage uh, and remarkable leadership skills. They are convicted, uh, they go forth in the temple area, and they stay on message. Uh, we, in our life, uh, we take uh, heed that we will face uh, opposition also, uh, and that we will be called by God at some point in our life, I believe, that we might be courageous. Uh, let us turn to our Lord and realize that our Lord is leading the way. <laughs> the project that we're experiencing is not a project primarily of human terms, but rather it is God working in us and drawing us forth toward this good and blessed end that he has in mind for us. May we be so blessed to continue to follow.
God gave his only son to the world so that we might be saved through him. With faith in his saving power, we offer our prayers to the Heavenly Father. We pray for Pope Francis. We pray for our bishops throughout the world. May they have the spirit of humility and a spirit of service. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for world leaders, that they may be persons of integrity, truthfulness, and wisdom as they guide us through these difficult times. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for prisoners that they may be treated with dignity and be restored to right relationship with society upon their release. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who serve in the battle against the epidemic, that our Lord may keep them safe, that our Lord may give them courage. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our families, that our Lord Jesus may be among us, that he may give us tolerance and compassion, and that we may treat one another with love and respect. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our own needs and tensions that we give to God in silence. For these we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the dead, for the faithful departed, and for all who have gone in death before us. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Father of love and mercy, answer these our needs through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our Communion Antiphon I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I do have one announcement for parishioners of Our Lady of Guadalupe of South Hutchinson. Um, happily, it looks like a uh, we will be able to have uh, music for our Lord's Day Masses. So uh, I want to let you know that happily we'll be making plans to carry that out uh, to, uh, so that our weekend Lord's Day Masses uh, might be even more joy-filled, uh, uh, especially with uh, the singing and uh, the hymns of praise of, uh, of some very good musicians. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>